Hi students, I wanted to jump on really quick and give a short description of the course project and the proposal that is due next week. I've had a lot of questions that seem to be repetitive questions, so I wanted to kind of reach out and make sure that all of the bases were covered. So for your course project proposal, you are submitting what you will be turning in and what you will be doing for your final course project. Okay, so this is due next Thursday and I have a description of all of the questions that you'll need to answer in your proposal and then also an example proposal so you can see exactly what it is you should be turning in. And um, on the course project description, I have a lot of different options for you to choose from for topics, but you are not limited to those topics, okay? So these are all fairly local topics that you can choose from that are relevant to the class. But if you find that there's something else that interests you more, that is totally acceptable. So if it relates to the class, so we're natural science, right? As long as it relates to the course, you can most likely use that topic. Um, if you are unsure if it relates to the course or if it would be acceptable for the project, you can shoot me an email and ask if this topic is acceptable. You don't need to do any research prior to submitting your proposal. So if you pick a topic and then you decide to research shortly after and you get into the topic and you're like, this really is not for me, then you can just send me an email and say, hey, I wanna change my topic to whatever this is, okay? So if you submit your proposal for, let's say the San Joaquin River and get into it, you don't like it, just send me an email and say, hey, I wanna change to agriculture and water or whatever else you might be interested in. Maybe you're interested in air pollution, okay? So you can take this in a broad topic or more specific. I will say the more specific you are, the less overwhelmed you are with material. So if you pick a broad topic like water, there's going to be a lot of information out there for you to kind of hone in and figure out what you're gonna focus on because water is a big topic, right? There is 70% of Earth's surface is covered in water. So just think about how much information is out there. Um, whereas if you focus strictly on water in the King's River, then you're narrowing down your information a little bit and you're not overwhelmed with material. Um, but if you like to stick to a more broad topic, you are more than welcome to. Um, that's just kind of my two cents on the matter there. And you can work with a group up to four people in your group, or you can work solo if you would like. It's completely up to you. Um, and just make sure you note who is working in your group. If you are working in a group, uh, you can work with just you and another person, or three people, or up to four. Okay. Then you are going to turn in something. So I know a lot of your instructors like to tell you, you have to write a paper. But not everybody learns and communicates science by writing a paper. And I know that, so we have a lot of different options for you to choose from. So if you are really into art, maybe you want to write a comic book or you want to write a children's book and draw some of these things out. Maybe you are a writer, but maybe you like to write screenplays or you like to write poems. You can also turn something like that in. Um, maybe you're very theatrical and you want to host a game show or a debate or something like that. You can also do something like that. If you're really good with like crafting, maybe you want to do a poster board or a diorama. Um, if you do any of those physical items, if you don't want them at the end of the project, at the end of the course, you're more than welcome to drop them off at the AES department office. And um, I will use them as examples in future classes if you are totally okay with that. And um, you don't have to worry about what to do with it when you're done. Um, I had one last semester that was really cool. It was a 3D model of Yosemite Valley and I was jealous because she didn't want to let it go <laughs> because it looked really cool. So um, if you make something and you want to share it with the department, that would be awesome. And then if you, let's say you want to go somewhere and let's say you pick the Kings River because you live out near Sanger or Reedley area and you want to take a little trip to show people the river, maybe you make a video 
of the river and you talking about the river and things like that, that would be really cool. Maybe you like podcasts a lot and you want to do a conversation podcast or just a podcast where you talk about things. That's also really awesome. Um, one of the coolest podcasts I ever received was actually like a drunk history type podcast where um, they were very, they were vulgar, but that was okay for me. And they were talking about plate tectonics, the way that they talk about drunk history on that show, Drunk History. And it was really entertaining, actually. So um, however you want to present it, you can always fall back to just writing a paper. And you can also fall back to just creating a PowerPoint slide. That seems to be what a lot of people land on, especially when they don't feel like they connect with anything. Um, and these are just options. So if there's something else that you think you could turn in, by all means, please present that to me and I will let you know if that's acceptable, if that's, you know, the correct level of project we're looking for here. Um, so all of that is turned in May 9th. If you make a physical item, what you'll do is you'll take a photo. Um, and if it's, if one photo isn't enough, you can take multiple photos or you can submit a video kind of looking at it and talking about it um, so that you know, you're submitting something. If you make a digital product, obviously you're going to submit it digitally. Um, and everything is turned in by May 9th. Okay, so your proposal, though, is due next week on the 22nd. So it, you have a week about from me making this video to ask any additional questions if you have any extra questions. And the rubrics for this are different um, for each Thing you turn in. So um, I will have those loaded in the actual project, which I might already have it loaded in there, um, so that you can, oh, but I want to edit it. Let's go back. And so you'll kind of know what I am looking for. Ah, here you go. So it kind of goes through some of these things and I will update it based on, you know, some of the things. So we've got like visual products, you need to have at least 10 details, slides, you need 10 slides, anything that's audio or uh, video will require 10 minutes. And then your paper, of course, is 1500 words. So then through there, a lot of this other information is standard. Um, but like I said, you can look at this. Um, either before or after you submit your proposal. It doesn't really matter in the order that you do that in. Um, but the main thing is for you to get something going. Okay, so that's what next week's goal is. So that you have a topic picked and you have an end goal. Okay, we want an end goal for here without like getting into late April and saying, oh my gosh, I totally forgot to start my project and now it's due in nine days. What am I going to do? So, um, with that, I will let you go. If you have any questions, like I said, send me an email and I'm happy to help. See you guys later. Bye.